Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn or Cross Watcher, wherever you have this planetary placement in your chart, please only claim the reading from your higher self and for your higher good or not at all, okay? Whoever you are and wherever you are out on the whole entire planet, shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge you, and we're very grateful for your presence. So thank you very much for taking the valuable time out of your day and spending some of it with us. We really love you for it. And that's unconditional, that's solid, and that is a fact. If you need to contact me for any reason at all, the information is in the box below on how to do so. And lastly, could you please hit our like and our subscribe and ring our bell? Yeah, ring our bell. You know what? It is fun. It is entertainment purposes only. It doesn't cost you anything. And I swear on everything that's holy, and you have to trust me on this, it will make you feel good. In the meantime, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this. Clearing ground for Capricorn. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Capricorn. Capricorn, we are working with energy. You know it's fluid, so I could be speaking about you or perhaps somebody who's in your energetic field. And anybody could be resonating in any one of their planetary placements at any time. Well, show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah. All right, ancestors. We're going to start with the Romance Angels for Capricorn. Romance Angels for Capricorn. And thank you. Okay. We have. It is safe for you to love. Open up your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You also have true love. Well, listen, true love is knocking at your door, all right? And this is okay. Like, you, it's safe to, to let yourself go, okay? It's safe to trust this, whatever this is. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Listen, as long as you're honest, good, bad, or indifferent, you can't go wrong, okay? So, you know, be real. Be real with yourself. Be real with the person you're dealing with. This is true love for a lot of you. It's a romance of a lifetime, but you have to open up your heart and let, yeah, love in. Here you go. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So they are. There's an attraction here. It could lead to an, great, an engagement. This is some kind of soulmate from past life. Be playful. Keep an open mind. And there you go. <laughs> All right? Here we go, Capricorn. I love it for you. All right. So what did we do? We shuffled these already, right? Yes, we did. Show me the energy. Thank you. Yeah, this is a romance of a lifetime for a lot of you. Whether it's here or not, or, or you just began it, or... You just have to open up your heart, trust it, and be honest, most of all. Show me. Show me. Capricorn, please and thank you. Capricorn, what does Capricorn need to know? Please and thank you, spirit, ancestor. Well, there's one. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Je okay, so this is an energy of someone who's very clear thinking, someone who really knows how to articulate themselves, someone who doesn't let their emotions run away with them. This is a very disciplined energy. This is somebody who's reasonable. This is somebody who's honest. And very articulate, okay? Somebody who's very perceptive. They might have some kind of a, yeah, higher perspective on things. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, something about Sigourney Weaver or the Alien movies. Maybe some of you are watching that. Something about aliens, the aliens. Maybe it's the aliens that are supposed to be landing on Earth and, you know, whatever they're saying with all the alien shit that's going on. Maybe some of you are into that um, UAP, David Rush type. Yeah, well, there you go. So there you go. Something like this. Maybe aliens are coming. I have to say this because while I'm not picking up the energy on the cards, I tried to start your reading Capricorn and I was distracted by the fact that the lava lamp is not in the little balls that it usually goes in. It looks like the alien over here. Like it really does. I have to show you this. It's crazy. It was freaking me out for a minute. Look, see what I'm saying? It's like the alien or some kind of an embryo or some kind of crazy shit's going on over there with that. So there's that. All right. Now that's yeah. I mean, I don't know why. Maybe somebody's getting pregnant. It looks like an embryo. There's an eye. There's a whole thing going on here. All right. Here, yeah, back to this. King of Swords. So this could be somebody in the military war, but it doesn't have to be. All right. Um, somebody could be, somebody could be like really religious here though. And I know that's like weird too. I'm seeing like a, all right, let's see. This could be like a religious leader of some sort. Show me. Or a spiritual leader, right? Show me. 
person looks like they're conflicted, though. Like, whatever they're thinking about is conflicting them. Page of Cups in reverse. Well, somebody here... Well, Page of Cups in reverse, they might... Okay, this person might be a little immature or younger. Somebody might be... Oh, somebody might have a problem with somebody's age. There might be an age difference here. With the Page of Cups in reverse, though, this is somebody who's um, maybe very vain and moody. This is someone who is immature, emotionally manipulative, very insecure... It's a, it's a very immature child, this energy of somebody who's very selfish and somebody can be thinking somebody's like that, even if they're not. I mean, even if they're not like of a certain age, they could, right? An adult could act that way. Tell me what's going on here. Heart to heart. Let's do it this way. I need to make room. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Show me. Foundation, please. Thank you. Got a page of wands. Okay, so somebody here wanted to work with somebody, but somebody might have been a little immature and not putting the work and effort that they were supposed to. Three of Pentacles talks about teamwork makes the dream work, shared goals, apprenticeship, putting effort in. But if you're dealing with a page of wands that you have to collaborate with, this is an issue because a page of wands is an immature energy. Again, somebody who's younger, you're dealing with pages here. They're, you know, in the hierarchy of the major arcana, these are children or at least very childish people. Okay, unreliable, selfish. They don't, you know, think. They don't think of what's going to happen in the next hour or consequences or repercussions. It's a very instantaneous, self-gratifying energy. So somebody might have wanted to collaborate here with somebody that was just, or maybe they did. I don't know. It could be different for all of you. This could be some kind of artistic project that somebody was working on or show me one more for the crowning. What's going to get Capricorn in the head? That's to hit you in the head, Capricorn. Let's find out. Here we go. Is the four of wands kind of coming out in the shelf? You okay? You might feel like um, you don't have any support here, or feeling unwelcome in a certain situation. Maybe there's um, yeah, some kind of transition you're going through, or perhaps a home conflict. You might be trying to straighten this out. This is could be the the see. This is your energy here, right? So this is like you being very clear thinking and trying to figure something out. I told you this person looked disgusted about what the hell they were thinking about. Like something is not making them happy. Whatever kind of choice or whatever truth that they know here, all right. And it could have to do with either a child or somebody who's very immature and somebody who that they wanted to collaborate with, or maybe they actually were. Maybe this was somebody that you worked with, but this person was a page at the best, a page at, at the best, a page, all right. In the meantime, what this is usually domestic. The four of wands, you know, it's family and and happiness, and but it is community celebration. And in this instance, it could be some kind of like I said, a work thing. You might, whether it's in your home, family, community. Or some kind of work situation. Feeling, you know, unsupported in some way. Show me what's going on over here. What's coming in? We're not taking all those. Thank you, though. Thank you, Lord, baby Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, God. Two of cups. Ooh, Capricorn, look what you have. No, 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 I love it. Two of cups. A reciprocated offer of emotions. So whatever, un whatever lack of support you're getting here, screw them. Because here comes somebody that's going to support you. This is... You know, a joining of forces. This is a new connection, a new bonds, a new partnership, a new attraction. We like it. I'm getting great adventure, like attractions. <laughs> it's kind of an attraction. Oh, it's going to be a ride of a life. That's what <laughs> It's going to be the ride of your life. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, let's see what's going on here. So you and somebody else are about to hook up. Now, disclaimer. I'm not a medical, I'm not a doctor, but that's the medical symbol. Maybe it's time to get a checkup. Even if you just drive by and wave at the doctor like I do. You don't have to actually go in the office. You, go, you know, I can't. You don't have to do a drive-by. Maybe it's time for a checkup. Maybe some of you have some kind of physical thing that's going on. Maybe you know about it. I don't know. Yeah, whatever you're looking at this two of cups. Show me what's in the mind's eye, the pineal gland, the back of Capricorn's head. What are they thinking? Here. Ooh, the magician in reverse. Oh, shit. You, well, you're thinking... That this person might be very cunning. And you're thinking that, oh, you're thinking that there could be a deception here. Maybe you don't, oh, you don't think that this is, maybe you don't think that they feel the same way about you that you feel about them. Right? Gemini energy. It's a magician in reverse. You might also think that this person is batshit crazy. <laughs> you might. The magician in reverse is a very manipulative energy though, okay? It's somebody that throws up smoke and mirrors. Uh, it could be some kind of wasted talent. But it's, it's uh, you know... It is a lack of mental clarity, I'll tell you that. Maybe you're going to lose your mind over this. Somebody's going to lose... Yeah, it could be that you, <laughs> you're not very mentally clear on this. This might throw you, right? 
might make you crazy. <laughs> well, Capricorn, it is what it is. So you got Gemini energy in reverse. Also here, somebody might think they're like some kind of a voodoo princess or voodoo prince and they're doing some kind of stupid shit black magic. Just keep saying return to send it and, and please protect us from anything. Uh, so if somebody's sending you love, you're returning that. If somebody's sending you some kind of megyotha, then you're sending that back. You know what I mean? That's how it goes. Yeah. I was on Facebook one time. I always write return to sender, return to sender. Somebody wrote to me, could you please stop putting that black magic out? I'm like, it's only black magic if you're sending it to me. If you're sending me love, I'm sending to you that tenfold, exponentially to infinity and beyond. If you're sending me some kind of like, you know, evil shit, it's coming back to you. So, because we are protected here. So now, in your environment, Capricorn, so you got this manipulative, cunning, crazy person, or you're crazy over this. This is going to make you crazy, right? Could be something that you manifested. All right. I'm getting crazy for you. And you know, who's that? That's Madonna. Damn, am I old? I'm so freaking old. I'm quoting Madonna. Madonna's wearing diapers. Oh, my God. All right, I'm not wearing diapers yet, but I mean, I don't think I'm too far. I got to tell you. Could you imagine? I could tell you stories about Madonna. When we were out in the clubs, it would make your hair stand up. But, yeah, we're not here for that. So, let's go. Here we go. Eight of Wands. Well, something's taking the freak off in your environment. Whatever this is. Now, look. Obviously, look. Wands of passion and, you know, yeah. Sex, that's the wand, that's a phallic symbol, right? Somebody's penis, something like this. Two of cups, taken off. And the reason why I say that is because, uh, yeah, that is passion. So whatever this relationship is, it might be moving really fast, and that's what's making you crazy, crazy for you. And you know it's true. I don't even know, but I hear it in my head. Sometimes you can't hear the words. You could just hear, like, the tone and the, yeah, well, whatever. You don't need to know all that. The point is, it's crazy for you by Madonna. Yeah, it was crazy. Crazy in love. Okay, so rapid forward movement. Some of you might be traveling. Somebody might be going camping. Yeah, camping. I'm seeing like a little fire, a little, let me roasting marshmallows. Out in the country because there's like pine trees. This could be in the spring. This could be coming in the spring. Oh, in the spring. Very nice. Maybe in April or May or March or April or May. Let me see what else is going on. When is Gemini? Uh, yeah, that's June, March, April, May, June, like this. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so there it is. There is somebody coming in to make an offer. There it is right there. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Or, obviously, Capricorn, this could be you going out to make an offer. And that's what Spirit's advising you. But Spirit's advising you that this is a very slow, methodical energy. This is somebody who thinks about what they're doing, all right? They're very deliberate steps. You know, it's somebody that's going to invest and put in the work. It's a very reliable, committed good character of somebody who wants to excel in the relationship that's your field you can plant anything and you want in the back together this could be a job offer but i'm really feeling like this is love but they want to build slowly you want to build slowly because you want it to be solid and you know yeah so we're going to put this upright because i feel like crowning you you're going to have this emotional fulfillment and you're going to have some kind of support especially if you were coming out of a place and not feeling supported all right, so crowning you four of wands is now upright because I push energy. That's how strong I am. All right, we pushed it. Go ahead, ancestors. Take care of that, the Capricorn. Thank you. We got you. All right, so this is what's crowning you happiness, contentment, celebration, maybe a reunion with love. And you're, either you're batshit crazy or somebody is. <laughs> but it's going to move forward. And uh, it's, it's a solid energy, very dependable. Show me what the most likely outcome is. Please and thank you. Here. Yeah. The most likely outcome for you is a nine of swords. Jesus Christ on the cross, Capricorn. What are we doing with a nine of swords? Worry, fear, anxiety up all night? Why? why? That's crazy. Oh, well, you're afraid to be like... Okay. Either you're afraid of some kind of poverty or loss. It could be financial with the five of pentacles. Or it could be that you're batshit crazy with despair, worry, fear, anxiety, insomnia, crying, not taking a bath or a shower. Your hair looks like the back of a rat's ass. I mean, what's going on here? You probably didn't brush your teeth in a week. You're up all night, okay? Your brains are bleeding from the anxiety. What are you worried about here? You worried about being left out in the cold or having to leave somebody out in the cold? Right? It's a five of pentacles. It's a poverty. It's insecurity. Some of you, please, I don't think you're insecure. But it could be some kind of struggle. You feel isolated or you feel like you're going to be made to feel isolated. Or you have to make somebody feel isolated. You might, you know, we got a man down here. Man down. <laughs> this is what, oh, I'm not laughing. But yeah, you got to. So look, who's this? Shit and Shinola is Capricorn. 
You, what are you? You oh, like paralyzed, paralyzed, man down. Remember, I said man down, man down. Yep, I'm hearing the um, submarine. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What? Because you're crazy over here. Look at this. Somebody feels like their hands are tied or trapped in a situation. Now, this could be financial, obviously. Somebody could be really worried about finances here. They feel like they're going to starve to death or, you know. There's help. Somebody's just got to reach it. But they've got a man down here. Somebody's really worried about being left. Because, like, this person is already crippled to begin with. They can't put this person that's down on their back and walk away. That's like if you're out in the woods in a movie, right, and then somebody gets bit by a bear. How are you supposed to count? You got to leave them there to die, you know, <laughs> or a snake or something. That's like that. Somebody's afraid somebody's going to leave them, leave them out in the cold to die, like, by themselves or something. Wow. Okay, so now I'm hearing, I'm hearing, some avenue freeze out. Uh, avenue, what is that? What is that? Something about a free, uh, avenue freeze out. I can't hear what they're saying. Listen, you got a six of swords. Somebody needs to move away from this shit, I'm telling you. Yeah, you know, somebody's watching somebody here. Okay, we got it. We got it. Somebody could be watching somebody in their friend group or some kind of uh, community here. Or somebody, somebody's watching a friend. Some kind of friend. You got a three of cups here. This is somebody in their social circle or maybe at a gathering. Maybe you're going to meet somebody. It could be a queen of wands. Aries energy. Oh, Mary. Okay, let's go. Here we go. All right, here we go. You ready? So, yeah, this is a situation you're going to have to move away from because you. I can feel like when I'm looking at these cards, I feel like I want to vomit. Okay, like so sick with worry and fear. And I also feel dirty like I need a freaking shower. Like really. Like, ugh. Okay, and yeah, you know, trapped and confined, but it, it's mental constriction. It's too far short of a happy meal, ready for the Thorazine Shuffle at Bellevue. And if those of you don't know what the Thorazine Shuffle at Bellevue is, it's when you go to the mental hospital and they jab you in the ass with a shot at Thorazine and you walk around dribbling and, and mumbling and, you know, shuffling along. You can't even take steps. So, yeah, this is what you're ready for here because of some kind of lost poverty, whatever that is for you. Now. Move away from that shit. Do yourself a favor. Because somebody's watching somebody here. Now, if you know you're not the stalker alert 909, you have the stalker alert 909 here. They want to learn something. They might want to learn something about a friend. This might be this new... Oh, somebody might be watching because maybe they're in your friend group, this new level lover. Yeah, we know level lover. Shaggy, right? So this could be somebody that's got Aries in their chart. Somebody who's very strong. Somebody who's very uh, assertive. Somebody who could be intimidating. Yeah, this person does not lack any confidence. I mean, yeah, this person is very confident. They do not lack confidence. They do not lack bravery. They might be intimidating. Somebody has long, curly hair. I'm seeing like Diane Cannon with that long, curly hair. What? This is a lover. This is a soulmate. Somebody's at the end of the bird. No, look at this with the Ace of Cups. Jesus Christ. And you got to tell... Oh, listen. Listen. I'm going to type shit. Okay, Capricorn, who are you? Gemini energy, the lovers, a soulmate, a past life relationship, like from another life. You know what I mean? This is kindred spirits. It's the two of cups. You've got soulmates all over the table here. Yeah. Somebody's in Aries or has Aries in their chart. There's Gemini. I mean, there's everything. There's everything. Here we go. It's a new emotional awakening. Ace of cups, new love. I'm working on a new love, spirituality, love, creativity. And now, somebody here is 1010. 1010 here. You could go get an angel code or Google the Siri or whatever the hell you deal with over there. I don't know. It's the end. It's the end of the burdens. It's the end of any past painful things that were meant to kill us. It doesn't matter, okay? We're dropping them. A couple more steps. We're there. These swords are going to... I'm seeing a wolf getting up and... I'm seeing a wet wolf shaking. And you know how the water... Yeah, well, those are the swords. I mean, shaking and shaking and shaking it off. Dun, 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 dun. Shake it off. Okay. Somebody's shaking this shit off. I love it. Capricorn. And he's like, you got this ten of wands. You're getting rid of the burned baggage of bullshit and whatever was meant to kill us, it's gone. Right? It's over. Go get a, 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 a personal message from one of your angels. Do 1010 in, in Google, right? And what are you walking into? Mink yachts. You are walking into the ten of pentacles. With your lover, by the way. Now, did I tell you that this lover was a soulmate? Well, you got the king to the queen of wands. And they see each other, okay? So that's it, man. You got it going on. Look at this. The empress, the hierophant. Love. All right, let's see. What else are we doing here? I gave you the romance angels. I gave you that. I was going to clarify, but I mean, I, you know, I did for Virgo. But I, I really didn't throw this many cards down for Virgo. But just to stay in the spirit of things. Fair and square. I'll do one, one row of clarification across the board, ancestors. Give it to me. Give it to me. Show me. Hit me with your best shot. I will make. Okay, here we go. Come on. What do we have here? Ace of emotions. Look at this. 
popping out my face. Oh, you just had it right here, right? New love, right here. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. So there's a new emotional awakening. You guys have new love coming in with a soulmate. This is your match, okay? It's going to be great. It's going to be very passionate. You're going to love each other. You're going to get this Ten of Pentacles, which is financial stability, legacy, wealth, inheritance. You're going to put a foundation down of deep roots that's going to grow, all right? You're both leaders in your own right. And I'm going to tell you something. You both look really hot, all right? This, this Queen of Wands, it's got it going on, all right? Look how hot this person is. And this guy, too. Too hot, too hot, baby. Got to run for shelter. Got to run for shade. Okay, let's go. Ace of Emotions. What a good energy I'm getting off this Capricorn. Here we go. Well, that's it. It's an awakening. It's judgment. It's a decision to move forward. This is good. Some kind of decisive action you're going to take on this love. Okay? I'm just going to make it. Okay. We got the nine of materials coming out in reverse, though. The nine of materials in reverse. This is an energy of maybe being a little reckless or superficial. So don't be that. Uh, some of you might be worried that you're not going to, you know, be um, rewarded here with the nine of materials in reverse let me see somebody could be very guarded here somebody might be very guarded oh okay thank you spirit and ancestors yeah that's what it feels like feels like somebody's guarded here very guarded they might you know maybe somebody's unstable you know financially or materialistically maybe it doesn't matter okay nothing matters nothing matters but love okay let's see what's going on here I can't take none of this shit we got the king of pentacles so obviously that's you capricorn but maybe stuck up in your head. And we've got 999 megahertz. Again, stuck up in your head. That's twice the nine of swords came out. Either you're worried about another somebody with earth in their chart. Or they're, you know, this is you sick to death worried about whatever this is that you have to let go of. And, it, you know, this might be causing some kind of material instability for you. Maybe. Or maybe somebody who's very superficial. You're making this decision to go with the love. Where is the love? Okay, so anything else? 999, 999. We know shamanic healing. Archangel Michael. Anything else? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Let's go. At the bottom of the deck. The night, yeah, here comes somebody. Here they come. But somebody might have a broken heart. They could, they, you know, be careful of any... Anybody stuck on whatever this, what, excuse me, there it is, lost here. Because it could be some emotional pain attached to it. You know, we got the Empress and the Emperor. Look at this. Power couple, Arkansas. I mean, yeah, that's it. All right. Here you are, Capricorn. Somebody could be obsessed with some kind of uh, power or maybe some kind of loss. Like this loss, whatever it is. Don't let it happen because you two are leaders, I'm telling you. Let's get some kippers. I gave you all the signs. You got Aries, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini. What are we doing? Show me. This is everything. Show me. Okay, so here you have somebody hold somebody in high on. Okay, so in Brooklyn, when you say I hold you in high on, this means I have respect for you. So you know, this could this could be somebody in the military, the law. Somebody might be into that. You know, um, yeah, I'm seeing uh, civil war reenactments or history, perhaps. Somebody might live in Virginia, something like this. Somebody might have some slamming hubcaps. I'm seeing the hubcaps again. Here we go. There's somebody going on a journey. Somebody might be going to travel to see somebody that they hold in high honor. You know, I have respect for, vice versa. Maybe somebody's going to some kind of civil war reenactment, something like this. Somebody likes to squish their straws down. Like, you know, no. did you ever put the paper together with the straw and then you wet it and it's like, a, all right, it's like a worm that grows. I used to do this when I was a kid. How immature. Okay, well, listen. We never said we were mature here. Just old. <laughs> Let's get that straight. <laughs> no, listen, there's a journey. Somebody's going on a journey, right? Whatever it is. It could be taking a train around the neighborhood, right? It could be a day trip. It could be a weekend trip. You know, overnight bags. There's, it could be going to maybe some, you know, someplace else. Like, yeah. I mean, West Virginia, Mount Mama, take me home, country. Well, something like this, okay? Something about overhead lighting. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, number seven. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven megahertz. Seven, seven, seven hertz. This is to attract abundance. Somebody's going to get a message. Maybe from somebody that they love and respect to come and visit. Or something like this. Or that they, somebody's going to get a message that somebody's coming to visit. Could be a message of anything, right? It doesn't matter. You might actually get a piece of mail. Like it might be mail. It might not even be like a text. It could be a text. I'm just saying. Could you imagine? 
<laughs> you might get like an old piece of like a piece of real mail, like somebody that actually has written, taken the time to written. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Anything else with the kipper is to write. Instead of the fingers. Let your fingers do the 14 or 6. All right. So, yeah. June could be of significance. July, October. Uh-huh. Something could be, this message could be a message of concern. It could have something to do with a privileged lady or from a privileged lady. Or it could be something that it's about to change. Oh, and there's a wealthy man. Okay. Somebody's act, somebody's being false here. Somebody's putting up some, oh, so lover lovers again. Somebody's not even noticing this. They're busy working their ass off. That there's somebody false around them. We've got Gemini energy on the board again. There's going to be some kind of change. Someone could be 53 here or 35. The ninth could be of significance or September. Someone could be 39 here. Also 51. 51. Let's see. These are the hidden truths. What are the hidden truths for Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn. The hidden truths for Capricorn are it's time for me to heal now. Somebody's healing. I think we're just about to get a lot of noise here in a minute. Um, the timing just wasn't right for us. And I wish I could share my good news with you. So somebody is healing, okay? And you know, whatever the timing was, it wasn't right for the situation for you. And somebody has some kind of good news they want to share with you. Or you want to share with them, but they're afraid to contact. You know, somebody's afraid to make contact. That's what it is. Now, this is some moon phases or perhaps other astrological signs or, or times of the year that you should be aware of. Show me. Capricorn, Capricorn. You have luck is on your side. Could be dealing with somebody that's Sagittarius in their chart. Oops, we're not taking all those. Hold on a minute. Here we go. Show me. Okay, here we go. I dropped those. Now, those we have to pick up. Here we go. Jesus Christ. We got two of them, Capricorn. Three of them. I can pick them up with my freaking nails. Here we go. Okay, so you got Aquarius now. Uh, show the world the real you. Balance spirituality and practicality. That's Pisces. And you have the fixed moon. Okay, you could be dealing with the full moon twice, the new moon, or the fixed moon. And then you got the full moon at the bottom of the deck again in your sign, Capricorn. The end of tough cycle approaches. All right, so that's it. Let's get you some letters. We love you. Thank you again for hitting the like and subscribe. We really, really, really appreciate it. And your letters are D. Look at all these U's. You got three U's. That's crazy. E, two D's, and O. Three D's, three U's. Something's a doozy or a dud. An S, two O's, and an E. Three D's, three U's, Z, S, two O's, E. Thank you. We love you. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God. Karma is real. Till next time, love and light.